Breathing in, there is awareness of breathing in. Breathing out, there is awareness of breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. In, out. Insufferable feelings. Anger, part five. Cries for help. Should someone become upset or angry with us, at perhaps no intended fault of our own, the last thing they need from us is our anger as a countermeasure. Instead, it is perhaps critical to understand how their behavior is simply a cry for help, seeking someone, anyone, to provide them with the compassion and even love likely absent when the originating painful or traumatic event occurred. Someone, usually a parent or parental role model, to comfort their still suffering inner child. React in anger or cry. What might determine whether someone either becomes angry or starts crying when experiencing distress? Perhaps those of us who react with anger feel we have lost control over the situation at hand as well as ourselves and are seeking to control both through the primal force of anger while those of us who cry may feel helpless as well as hopeless in our ability to overcome such situations because our parents almost always took control in saving us from suffering by essentially making everything all better. <laughs> 